the bear on the beer looks like he's surrendering. Bear on the beer. Mm -hmm. Bear on the beer. To the naked man. Yeah. Yeah. I would surrender too. He looks kind of hot. <laughs> Batch Creek Brewing. I love these guys. We've got Naked Wo Woodsman, which is a great name. This is Pale Ale, Naked Woodsman. The Naked Woodsman. I love the name and I love the can. I'll tell you that right now. Nice big can. This is a big can. 16 ounces. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I'm a Pale Ale fan. <laughs> I'm a Naked Woodsman fan. Okay. There's so much beer in this, and this is a huge cup. <laughs> it's like Christmas oh, morning. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's simple. Like it, like my palate isn't attacked by any one flavor. It's just a kind of a balanced, light, easy to drink beer. That's actually really good. Yeah. That's just oh. fantastic. You know what? <laughs> I would drink a lot of these on a hot day. This is good for a nice summer day. Patio drink. Perfect patio drink. It's like an old person. <laughs> like it's a bearable amount of bitter. <laughs> I would definitely, definitely drink uh, this beer on any occasion. I'd let you buy me some of this beer. Um, is this like a guide of pairings? Because one of the options is ice, ice cream. cream. For sure. Am I supposed to drink this with ice cream? Have you ever had ice cream with beer? No, that sounds disgusting. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's almost like a crisp taste to it. Yeah. I would have to get a job to buy you beer, right? I'm patient. <laughs> and it's naked, unfiltered and pasteurized, just like a naked man. <laughs> so this is the kind of beer that I like all the time. Mm. Yeah, this is good. I like it. I'm glad I was invited here. Thanks, Bench Creek. Yes. Thanks for the beer, Bench Creek. <laughs> My mom's going to be watching this. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Uh, Northern Grace Red Rye IPA. Northern Grace Red Rye IPA. This is going to be exciting. This is um, strong. This is 6.2. Okay, we've just gone up a whole percentage. It's 6.2%. Yeah. Goes with tacos and spicy cheese and chili peppers, I think, is what these three little images say. But it says Northern Grace, like maybe if they were in Canada and it was cold, mm -hmm. um, instead of uh, the wolf eating her, they would uh, they would make friends. Oh, definitely a different smell. I, well, I can smell it just coming yeah, off this my is, glass. This, this, you know, it's hitting hard. I'm not an IPA fan. The look, it scares me. It looks like, my first um, impression is it looks like unpurified apple juice, like when you just juiced oh, apple juice. Oh, yeah. It's like an, um, like an apple cider, like a really thick apple cider. So a lot of people are put off by cloudier beers too, and it's like, that doesn't mean anything. I was expecting it to be, uh, have a little more of a punch, like hoppy wines. In all honesty though, out of some of the IPAs that I've tasted, I always think, I'm drinking soap. This one is not as bad. I want to say there's a bit of a pininess in this one, but I <laughs> pininess. If this was the only beer available at a party, I would leave the party. <laughs> Apparently there's Simcoe hops in here, which oh, there is. does have that little piney taste, so. It's a good thing we have an expert here. <laughs> I'm just like letting it sit in my mouth. That's what she said. I mean, I'm no professional. I just drink a lot, so. Yes. I could learn to love this beer. Um, in like a Beauty and the Beast kind of way. Really? Yeah. yeah. And this is much better than a standard IPA. I don't feel like I'm drinking soap. I just want to drink it. it tastes earthy to me. Oh, that's where you're going. Yeah. That's deep. No, I like it. It tastes <laughs> kind of like dirt. Just pulling anything out of my ass at this point. Like I'm impressed with how it looks. Isn't that bizarre? I think that's I like how it looks. I just think it looks like a really nice pint of beer. The look does not uh, do justice to the taste. It looks like carbonated iced tea. Yeah. You'll notice I keep drinking it because <laughs> that's what I do. Like this beer tastes like something that the attractive man on the last beer uh, used to wash his feet with. <laughs> this is a very nice tasting beer. This is not a diet beer. You're right. No. That's good. But I'm not on a diet. Northern Grace. A very smooth tasting IPA. And I like the red accents in the can. If I had to drink an IPA, this is what I would drink. I would not drink the other IPAs. 
at all. Boom. <laughs> oh God, that's why I'm an actor because I'm not smart. <laughs> Do you think I'll like it? Um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited already because I'm expecting something special coming out of this can. Um, this is gonna go well with steak, spicy food, and just regular cheese. Um, <laughs> it's a lovely sound. It is. Six point five. It's got an actually nice smell. To it. Ooh. You got a lot of heads going on there. I wish. <laughs> so apparently this is the Bench Creek's flagship beer. This color pleases me. I see this and I'm like, I want to drink that. I don't care what's in the glass, I want to drink that. There there does seem to be, with all their beers, they seem to be a little bit uh, cloudier, I guess, is, would be the accurate thing. This is a beer that you could drink because you want to get drunk. Have you tried it yet or are you just talking? Well, I'm building myself up to it. This one's chuggable. Like you can just sort of let it all slide through because the aftertaste is really what gets me. Ah. The initial taste is actually really good. Ooh, I like that. Sight the legend. Sight the legend. There's no such thing as a white raisin, is there? It's on the can. It has to exist. Wow. Hold up. It's a real thing. <laughs> this is a delicious beer. Um, all of the beers are heavy as f but uh, this one at least is not a meal. Like you can drink this one with the intention of getting f***ed up. I feel like you've been more supportive of Bench Creek than I have, but this is the one yeah. that I'm like, yeah, no, I like this one. This is an IPA that I can drink a literal f ton of. We taste what it's supposed to taste like. It's not overly hoppy. I would drink this particular beer with the intention of thoroughly enjoying the beer because I am thoroughly enjoying this beer. Good. This is actually really good. This is a hot tub beer. This is definitely sitting in the hot tub in a winter beer. It goes down yeah. fairly smooth. It doesn't, and it doesn't stick there. Yeah. yeah. Well, this shouldn't sit in the hot tub. I'll sit in the hot tub. I'll just hold this outside the hot tub. If I saw this on the on a menu, I would for sure drink it with my dinner. I would for sure order it with my dinner, for sure. Because you're going to get steak. I'm talking about <laughs> me in a hot tub. With I don't want to think about you in a hot tub. <laughs> no, I'd be raving about this to my <laughs> friends for days. Uh, Bench Creek, I think you've done good. Uh, it's, oh. it, it's not you, it's me <laughs> with this beer. But I would recommend this to all my IPA friends and family out there. I would continue to drink this. I'm a fan of it. Bench Creek Brewing. Um, you got to win with this one. If we found a deck, it was sunny outside, and there was a steak, we're drinking this beer. As long as there's no hot tub for you to be in. Oh yeah, I'm naked. Village is all a part of it, eh? Apex Predator. 8.2% alcohol. What? It's a double IPA. It's 8.2%. Oh my god. We're gonna die. Apex Predator. But look at it. He's got a bow tie. That's a fancy bear right there. Prom date bear. Prom date bear. <laughs> So this logo, I just, you win because it's a bear in like a suit, mm -hmm. but like the bow tie is untied and he's just like ready to relax and chill. I love this one. Um, I'm a fan I'm, already. I'm a, yeah. This is my gift to you. You go first. Ooh, love that one. The color of this beer is so weird. This is the lightest colored beer we've had. <laughs> what the hell are you doing to me, Bench Creek? <laughs> Can is empty. Back to be about perfect pour, 16 ounce. Wow, this is surprising. This For is being a so dull IPA, this is not what I expected at all. Wow. It's so bitter. Oh dear. <laughs> I haven't even tried it. I'm frightened now. So sausage? this goes Smoke with sausage. hot <laughs> sausage, <laughs> which is the name of my autobiography. Smoke. One thing I noticed is none of this beer is good for chicken. Have you seen anything with chicken? Cake? Maybe it's cake. Pineapple cake? Why not? Yeah, why the f not? 
No, I would use sh beer for a beer can chicken on the barbecue and that's it. It just smells really clean. Like, I find that this has a, a softer nose than the White Raven. A softer nose. This has got like a bit of a kick to it, though. So. Yeah. How is it so bright colored and so bitter? It's like a Modest Mouse song. Some of them have a really boozy property to it, and that means that it wasn't done right. A good double IPA will have that higher alcohol content without throwing alcohol in your face, and that's what I like about the Apex. This is the highest percentage, yet somehow this is the lightest tasting. This is my favorite one. It was 8.2. 8.2, and you don't taste it. Oh. If you served me this beer, I would be excited because this looks like a beer I want to drink. The Apex Three Predator. Three know be dating my left hand again. <laughs> And then I would drink it. Exactly what they want. Yeah, and I would be like, what the f is this? Sneaky. I get a little bit more of a citrusy kind of flavor to go along with the hop. Apex means the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> See? Bear printer. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> cool. Someone else bought it for you, you drink it. Absolutely. Okay. But I would not go up and buy this beer. Okay. He's the best man yes. at a wedding who's like, hey, um, bridesmaids, what? <laughs> Let's take advantage yeah. of that vulnerable person who likes their unfiltered weed ales <laughs> and give them this double IPA. We've got enough diversity in their beard to satisfy everybody. Canada. <laughs> we'll be going out and we'll be drinking a lot of fun. With, with steak. With steak. No, this is pork, dude. This one's with pork. <laughs> you know. <laughs>